Chairman, and thank you for holding this. Uh, it's kind of a meat and potato hear uh, hearing. It's not, not flashy like some we do. I had the privilege to serve with a very uh, capable uh, ranking member, Mr. Conley, um, with government operations, and we. Uh, he's very was very knowledgeable. In fact, more knowledgeable than I was when I assumed that position, and uh, learned a lot from him. Uh, our objective to, was to look at the total amount of money that we sp we were spending at the time, which at that time was eighty billion dollars. And uh, now I see with your report that was released today, they're spending $89 billion. The estimate when Mr. Conley and I were doing a review was that about 50% of this money is wasted, either on outdated uh, technology, on, on um, duplicate um, data centers. With GAO or OMB, is that would you say about 50% is, is not properly spent, is wasted? Is that still about where we are? Yeah, you can jump at the first. Yeah, I think, I, I think it would make sense to say if you've missed multiple generations of the opportunity to improve um, your computing environment, you are wasting money. There, yeah. It's very clear. What do you think, GAO? I don't know if it's 50 or, I will say this, I don't know if I have a precise number. There's a lot of money spent on inefficient well, operations, data yeah. centers, and there's a lot of failed acquisitions. So clearly there are your, billions your, wasted. Your report says federal legacy IT investments are becoming increasingly obsolete. Uh, obsolete. Many uh, use outdated software languages and hardware parts that are unsupported. Agencies reported using systems that have components that are, in some cases, at least 50 years old. This is your Correct. finding. Correct. Uh, so half of, well, we won't even go half if we just go $40 billion in waste. When Mr. Conley and I started this exercise, we asked you all how many data centers there were. And I think first we got 800 or something, and then we got 1,200, then we got... Uh, Oh my God, um, we were in the thousands. I was interested to see your report here, how many thousand data centers uh, we have. Um, what is that current number? Uh, Ten, about 10,500. 10,500. Uh, what would you guesstimate we could uh, reduce that to? Well, we've closed 3,100 to date, saved 2.8 billion. We can close another 2,000 and save 5.4 billion. So, and I think that 5.4 is greatly understated because many agencies. So do not we can have actually plans. spend less and get better technology, better results, and improve systems. Is that correct? Yeah, we need to definitely get so more modern. The opening uh, salvo from the other side was Republicans are slashing uh, the money. But actually, um, we have actually saved money by going to cloud. Is that correct, sir? Yes, there have been um, savings. And there are certain securities. We have uh, uh, certain concerns about security. We do have the cyber threat. A great deal of the data in the federal government um, is not classified uh, or necessarily uh, high uh, security risk, is it, Mr. Pa Pounder? Uh, the, Great it, deal it, of it. It varies. Yeah. It clearly varies. Uh, but again, there, uh, you, and you, your report points out there can be very substantial savings. Uh, consolidating these data centers, 10,000, 10, we've done some, uh, and then moving to cloud and other uh, now, uh, the question came from Mr. Hurd a little bit about, uh, let's say, buy or build, and the answer was build. What about buy or lease? Can somebody say we should be leasing? The problem is that federal government buys equipment, and the equipment, I'll take you back here, we've got it even in our offices, is outdated. Uh, uh, maybe Mr. Davis bought some of it, uh, but now, uh, Mr. Chaffetz has inherited it, and that's the way agencies work, the same way. So buy or lease, anyone want to respond? Mr. Scott, Mr. Pounder. 
Well, I think our guidance as proposed would um, rate projects that use cloud, use these more modern uh, techniques, the buy by the drink kind of thing versus build it yourself. That's a high scoring criteria. But where for you're going to get hard equipment and an office, a uh, buyer lease? You're, you have to have a replacement strategy, and they often that means leasing. Yeah, so I think clearly we want to build less in the federal government. There's less risk with that. Thank you. I yield back. Thank the gentleman.